Hi, welcome to my topic circuits and networks. I am Ravikant Malla Joshua. And today we are going to deal with single phase AC circuits class 4 that is the simple problems involved with single phase AC circuits. When a single phase AC supply is given to resistor, inductor and capacitor, how does the instantaneous values of voltage and current and power calculations are done? That is what we are going to see as a basic class of this particular session. So we have seen from our previous classes that whenever a voltage is applied to a pure inductor, the waveforms indicates that the current lacks voltage by 90 degrees. Whereas in the case of capacitor, the current leads voltage by 90 degrees. And if at all you have a resistive network, the voltage and current are said to be in phase. In phase indicates the starting and the final points as well as the maximum minimum points they reach at the same points so th that is how a resistor is behaved under ac supply and this is how inductor and capacitor behave under ac supply let us start with the basic numerical an alternating voltage of 240 volts 50 hertz is applied to a pure resistor of 10 ohms obtain its instantaneous current and calculate power consumed by it so for this particular problem the given parameters are voltage is 240 volts resistor is 10 ohms frequency is 50 hertz and we can easily find out the value of current which is equal to 24 amperes how we got this according to ohms law v is equal to ir so v value is given r value is given so you can get the value of i is equal to v by r which is nothing but 24 amps now once we get the value of current, let us estimate the maximum value of voltage. The maximum value of voltage is related to the RMS value of voltage by the statement VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2. So always remember whenever in a particular question a voltage is mentioned like 240 volts comma 50 hertz, this indicates the RMS value of voltage. So this RMS value of voltage is there. So we can easily get the value of maximum voltage. So maximum voltage is equal to RMS value into root 2. So 240 into root 2 which will give you the answer as 339.4 volts. Similarly, we can calculate the maximum value of current which is equal to I root 2. I is estimated to be 24 amps. So this is called as the RMS value of current. So with this, I'm going to get the value of maximum current as 33.94 amps. So uh, since it's a resistor, the voltage and current are said to be in phase. Let us calculate the value of frequency because we know we have to calculate instantaneous current. For that, we need to calculate the angular frequency. So the frequency given is 50 hertz. Therefore, the angular frequency changes to 314.159. So this is also the value of angular frequency. Now once we get the value of frequency, we can get the instantaneous value of voltage which is equal to Vm sin omega t. Substituting the value of Vm that is 39.4 sin omega t. Instead of omega, we have replaced 314.159 t. So this is known as the instantaneous value of voltage. Vm is known as the maximum value of voltage. V is known as the RMS value of voltage. So this is how you need to understand the each and every the each and every character how they are named. Now I is equal to Im sin omega t. Now this is the instantaneous current what we need to calculate. So Im is 33.94 sin omega t value omega is 314.159. So substitute the value, we are going to get the instantaneous value of current I. And we need to calculate the power consumed by resistance. So the power consumed by resistance is given by P is equal to V into I. So simply we are taking the RMS values of voltage and current. So 240 into 24, which will be giving you the value as 5760 watts. Now this is the is this is the RMS value of power consumed by the resistor. 
So this is how you need to understand the basics of AC when applied to resistor. Let us focus on inductor. So the same voltage 240 volts 50 hertz when it is applied to an, inductive, an inductive coil of 0.1 Henry. How does we calculate the voltage and current? The instantaneous values. So this is the supply given to inductor. Now the parameters which are given in the problem are 240 volts inductor value 0.1 Henry frequency value 50 hertz. Now inductor value is given. Let us calculate the current. This is the RMS value of current which is equal to 240 divided by 2 pi into 50 into 0 0.1. So XL which is known as the inductive reactance whose value is omega L and omega is 2 pi F. So 2 pi F into L. So this is how we calculate this value of RMS current. It is obtained here as 7.63 amperes. Now once the RMS values of voltage and current are obtained, let us calculate the maximum value of current and voltage and then we can estimate the instantaneous value of voltage and current. So it is an inductor, pure inductor coil. The current lacks voltage by 90 degrees. That is what we have seen from our previous classes. So when you are going to calculate the maximum value of voltage, it is the same value because the same input is given. So 339.4 volts is the maximum value of voltage, whereas current, current is equal to I root 2. I here it is 7.63 multiplied to root 2 will give you the value of maximum current as 10.79 amperes. Now once we obtain these values, we can easily estimate the instantaneous voltage and current as it states that lacks voltage by 90 degrees. So I am sign omega t minus pi by 2. So this will give you the value as 10.79 sine omega t that is 314.159 t minus pi by 2. So this is how we estimate the instantaneous value of voltage and current for pure inductive coil. Let us go with another example. Take a capacitance, apply voltage to it. Now this capacitor is having a value of 30 microfarads. Micro indicates 10 to the power of minus 6. So for this, take the inputs as it is 240 volts. Capacity is 30 microfarads. Frequency is given. Then Xc is known as the capacitive reactance, which is given by 1 by omega c. Now this value is obtained as 1 divided by 2 pi 50 into 30 micro. 30 micro indicates 30 into 10 to the power of minus 6. This minus 6 goes to the top, it becomes plus 6. So the Xc value here is obtained as 106.10. 106.10. So this is the value of Xc. Once we obtain the value of Xc, we can get the RMS value of current, which is equal to 240 by 106.1 which is equal to 2.26 amperes. Now this is the value of RMS current when voltage is applied to the capacitor. Now here the current leads voltage by 90 degrees unlike the previous case. We can easily estimate the maximum value of voltage. Once the voltage is obtained instantaneous value of it is also calculated and now current leads voltage by 90 degrees. So that is why this equation changes to plus in between these two parameters. Now IM is nothing but RMS value times root 2. So this will give you the maximum value of current. So 2.26 root 2 sine 314.1590 plus pi by 2. So this is how we calculate the instantaneous values of voltage and current under sinusoidal input applied to individual passive elements. So these are the basic problems. You can treat them as basic problems. In my further classes, we are going to deal with in-depth RL, RC, RLC networks and the problems involved with them when they are supplied to AC inputs. So if you like my video, please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and Please press the bell icon for the future notifications.